have here is a box I just received from ECU Master. So uh, this is uh, a plug and play unit to connect the EMU Black, which I have over here, to a Honda Civic EP3 or any, um, any car with K20A2. It might work on a K20A as well, but I have an A2. So instead of buying or building my own harness and own cables, etc., I decided to buy um, and that's the plug. So uh, before opening, let's go over what uh, this exactly is, how much it costs, and why I bought this. So uh, because I already bought this ECU uh, for my uh, 2CC project, which I abandoned at the, in the time, so I decided to uh, reuse this ECU because it's a pretty good ECU. But um, at that time, there was no um, plug and play unit except on data to use on a K20A2. When this adapter was released, I, I checked in the UK uh, and it wasn't available. So I had to import it from the US, which is $250, which is about 180 quid. Then there's about 35 pound shipping. And then I just paid 64 pounds on import tax. It's not cheap. Don't get me wrong. It's not cheap at all. Uh, I just got it here. I, I just unboxed it, you know, still secured sealed. They uh, got me some kind of candy. I don't know if it's from ECU Mars or from the tax office. Um, little sticker we have here. And then there's the invoice, which I don't have to show you. Um, so I'm just going to unbox this quickly and just show you what, what this adapter exactly is and how it looks. So this adapter is not really made by ECU Mars. It's uh, made by uh, WHP, so wheel horsepower, like we call, like to call it. So here's the adapter. It's very big. So uh, basically um, this part goes into your Honda um, engine side. Then on the back of it goes to the ECU. Then we have this which goes on of course into there and the other side as well. Then there's one um, here which I have to check what it does. Um, then they provided a few wires here which is always good to have which um, I would say two are sensor ground, most likely, those two. And then those, um, I don't know where they're going to, but uh, as far as I can see, they um, are to connect basically from the um, plug here to the plug there. So uh, most likely something like uh, extra sensors that the Honda might have, but not by default plugged in. So I just have to figure out what this exactly does. And then the only thing is they like, when I bought the EU, EU Black, they uh, provided a lot of uh, extra pins, uh, which in this case they didn't do with this adapter, which is a bit of a shame because there are so many pins in the back, uh, as you can see there. So many pins uh, that are open and I can't use and I have to put my sensors in there. So it's pretty annoying. Um, but the, uh, the adapter is itself, it, it is chunk, it's very chunky. So I have to see where I put it, um, but it looks good. And you can see there. It looks like a pretty, you know, pretty solid adapter. Um, I'm just going to see if I power this up to my um, ECU. See if it powers up, see what this cable is for. Um, and we'll get back to you shortly. So um, I uh, figured out a few wires, a few sensor grounds. So I connected it all. So the purple ones are pink ones that you see there. Those are sensors, analog one to four. That's what you got with these adapters. So uh, five and six are missing. Then I have two sensor grounds, which I connected to 38 and 39 on this nice sheet I got uh, before, which are connected in. Um, then I guess the power ground, etc., to connect all this are, is basically connected to the Honda side of things. So I can't really replicate that here at home, but um, I'm going to power this ECU up by just by using uh, one of the USB cables I have um, laying uh, on my, lap on my laptop here, as you can see there. So that goes in the ECU. I just have the red wire that I was talking about before. 
is number 12, which means, or so it's number 13, which means it's battery 12 plus. So that goes to the battery all the time, which, you know, it's good to know. Um, that's a funny thing. So because on the, um, when I had 2CZ plugged in, um, the adapter loom that I used at that time didn't need an, an, its own power source to the tw uh, battery 12 plus. Um, this one apparently does, so that's a bit of a difference. Doesn't really matter, it makes no difference to me, but um, it's good to know. Uh, then, like I said, you got only four four wires and two sensor grounds, uh, which I connected from one side to the other side. So that's all sorted. Uh, now I'm going to try and find myself um, a negative point somewhere on this loom, see if I can power this all up. So uh, the ECU is all connected, as you can see here. Um, those are just the standard values and my map. So it's a bit of a mess, but um, because all those goes to the uh, uh, side of the Honda, I had to find another way to wire it up. So I just have this little thing. So the USB cable goes to the laptop, then uh, all those wires are already connected. So I need just had to tap into um, the other side of this because I don't have the Honda. So there's a ground there. There, there is a power, there's not a ground. So um, that one, I only use one of these. Um, here is actually another ground which I can use. So I can connect that there, just to be sure that it has enough ground, you know, uh, you can have half enough. So that one, has, you know, it was connected there. So the ground, but one ground is enough apparently. I just checked that. So um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, connect a few more cables, can L and can R, um, low and high, something like it, and just see what this does. So what you do is you grab your little adapter here at the ECU, and there, and you go to your Civic. So here's my Civic. It's a bit of a mess, but you take your Make sure you seat this forwards. And in the back of the Civic, take those two, three wires here that we have, one, two, and there should be another one somewhere. And you put that in the back of the adapter. So it's kind of connected like this. That's the adapter, ECU, cable loom. So I just need to find some place and space to put all this. But that's basically it. Car should start without any problem. Well, mine won't because you know I'm missing a lot of stuff. But that's basically the setup. So this is the first um, look of the adapter of the WHP adapter. Um, I have to wire in a lot of sensors, so I'm not going to do no. Um, but yeah, basically that's that, that's what it should be done. So it's not too hard. Um, it looks okay. Feels okay, so uh, but you will see a lot more in uh, the later videos. So don't forget to subscribe, like uh, my Civic, and uh, hope this is kind of useful for you.